Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alex and I'm solving interview questions here on LeadCode to help you and myself for the upcoming technical interview. So today we get 392 is subsequence. This problem has a lot of likes, about 3000 likes and only 252 dislikes. So it's a pretty good problem when you see, you know, high like to dislike ratio. So let's read the problem first. So given two strings S and T return true if S is a subsequence of T or false otherwise. So let's read what, what does it mean by a subsequence. A subsequence of a string is a new string that is formed from the original string by the original sum can be none of the characters without disturbing the relative position of the remaining characters. So for example, we have ABC string one over here and then AHBGDC as a string two. So how can we know if this is subsequence? So if we read, remove certain characters like H and then D and G so we come up with the same string ABC and ABC and so we return true because ABC is a subsequence of a string too. Then let's look at the false example. So we have H, A, X, C and A, H, B, G, D, C. So we don't have X in the second string so we return false. And it's not a subsequence. So how can we solve this problem? So the way we're going to solve this problem is actually using two pointers. So we point to the first element in the first string and then the first element of the second string. And then we say if two strings are the same, two characters of a string are the same, then we advance two pointers. So A and A are the same, so we advance to B. B and H is not the same, so we only move the second pointer. B and B is the same, we move two pointers. C and G is different. So move on the second and then see it see the same. So then we check if P pointer two has the same length of the string. So we know we went through all of the string and this one is subsequence of another. So let's code it out and see, uh, you know, it's better explained with the code. So first we create two pointer. We say let P one equal zero and P two equal also zero. And then we create a while loop and we'll create while what? While P one dot uh, P1 is less than S dot length and P2 is less than T dot length. So basically if we haven't gone through all of the all of the characters of the string, we'll keep looping. And then what we do in, inside of the while loop, we say if S P1, so if the first element of the first string is equal to the first element of the second string is TP2. We're going to move two pointers at the same time. So we say P++, P2++. Else, if it's not the same, we will only increment the second pointer, P2++. P, P and then once we've gone through the entire loop, we have to return and see if P1, the length of P1 is the same as lengths of first string. And if they're the same, we return true. We know that we've gone through the entire string. And then if it's not the same, we'll return false otherwise. Let's submit and see how we've done here. Let's submit. Okay, so here's an error. Let's see what the error is about. Sorry, I wrote here more than equal, it's less than equal actually. Let's submit one more time. All right, we got 97 in speed and 41% in space. So this is a really good solution. So this is how you solve 392 is subsequence. Let me know what you think about this video down in, in the comments below and let me know what you want me to do next. And please check other videos on my channel for in-depth explanation of other popular lead code questions. Thank you for your time and good luck on the interviews.